welcome back everyone um so um i'll keep it real quick i just do i, I, I want to thank you and appreciate everyone putting up with the tech issues while i was on the road but as you can see if you're on youtube or facebook or periscope the screen share is back back in my normal setup and it feels good um listen i i love traveling you know, I, I, I really enjoy business travel. I, I really enjoy the, you know, getting stuff done, getting out there, traveling across the country. But I also really, I'm a, I'm a creature of routine. You know, if you guys follow me, you know that I just, and I think that's, a, it's, it's important in trading, you know, to, to really have that, you know, that routine that you just repeat and refine. So that being said, oh, feels nice to be back in my normal setup. Um, last point, and then we'll move on to tickers. B T X. Okay. Keep in mind, and I harp on this nonstop. It's not about more stocks. Okay. When, when, when you identify a low float stock that just hangs around, hangs around, hangs around, and like every day, well, I mean, it didn't do much. Where, where, what is today? Thursday, Wednesday. I mean, didn't do much Monday, but then look at Tuesday. And then Wednesday, freaking beautiful. So week open red to greens, back back to back days. Week open red to green, back to back days. Afternoon VWAP hold breakouts. I mean, and and you might not. Well, I don't know if anybody really cares. You you may or may not like this, but this is my number one watch again. To, in, until this dies, until this dies. Red to green, afternoon breakout. Number one watch. I mean, now, if, if BTX dies right at the open, you know what I'm going to say. I don't care, okay? I don't care. BTX is just another sketchy, scam X, low float, short squeeze stock. And if it gaps down and never recovers, I could care less, okay? Um, top watch. Red to green and afternoon VWAP hold. If you are unsure, if you are unsure, look at the last two days. I mean, if, if you want to know what I'm looking for, look at the chart for Tuesday and look at the chart for, I mean, it's exactly the same. And it's the same as it was a week ago. I mean, BTX has, I mean, has been incredible for two weeks now. Okay? Also, and I know. So also the ebook is finally on a landing page. It's done. It's deeply discounted. I did it even cheaper because I got so sick. I got so sick of getting yelled at about this book not being out there, okay? And I don't yell at me anymore. I got enough to do. So if you, I'm sure Nicole will drop a link in the chats, but if you go to Instagram.com slash T Bowen, just T-B-O-H-E-N, no underscores, no blah, 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 no numbers, no dashes. It's my link in bio, okay? Or I'm sure Nicole will drop it in the chat. And it's deeply discounted. Just get it. So then I don't have to say, oh, just like out of the ebook. So anyway. Or don't get it. I don't care. You know? People seem to love people seem to love asking the same stupid questions over and over again. Anyway. RHE, is that a weak open red to green? Asks McLaudino. Big spike yesterday afternoon. So I was flying yesterday afternoon. Why did this run? Um, I don't see news. Just, I'm guessing just another. So I'm assuming this, I, I'm going to take it for granted. Cut me a little bit of slack. I was flying yesterday afternoon. Didn't get home till like midnight. Um, I live freaking two hours from the airport. Cove is at 11. <laughs> yes. So anyway, I'm assuming this squeezed just because it's a low float scam X stock. Um, yes, it's a red to green. Yes, R H E 
Reddy Green. Oh man, Clo so I gotta look at Clove real quick. Idiots, idiots, idiots. So okay. Number so I don't think anybody's asked about Clove yet. You want my second, my backup watch for BTX? It's close. It's Clove. I'm hoping. So let me show you what what I want on Clove. So why did I get so excited? This is the this is the most recent uh short seller idiot. So all the mamas, boy, basement dweller, loser short sellers that have never accomplished anything in their life. Everyone hates them. You know, they're 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 terrible, terrible people. And they know it. Okay? That's the thing. They're terrible people and they know it. And they enjoy being terrible people. So they're all think they're so smart because everyone on Reddit, they say, doesn't understand how to calculate short interest. Oh, I'm so smart. I'm smarter than the idiots on Reddit. I know how to calculate short interest. Who cares? They're all stuck short and they're going to get smoked if this thing ideally dips below 11 opens week and then reclaims 11, 9.45 or later, especially into Friday, okay? We're getting into Friday. This thing's going to smoke some fools. So BTX number one, very close second is Clove for me. Uh, week open reclaim of 11. Uh, it's Busey asks about GRTX. So there's my two. BTX and Clove. GRTX. Had some early, or, yeah, some early AM news. Or actually last night. Pancreatic cancer. Charts a mess. But it's a low floater, dip and rip all day. So this is a this is what I would call borderline textbook dip and rip. Um, sketchy biotech, but low float and uh, pancreatic cancer news chart is an abomination, but. We don't care when there is cancer news and, you know, it's it's already rotated the float. So, if you get the ebook, you know what the dip and rip is. We're just looking for that pull at the open to sucker in shorts and then that break of the high of the day. So, hey, I mean, so I got to say this. Thank you. It's Busey. Um, as of right now, GTRX is my number three. <laughs> so BTX, Clove, GRTX. Uh, let's go Nokia. So Nokia, I, I, you know, I'd like to see this Nokia and Ericsson. Um, you know, I've been talking about this, the, the Nokia and Ericsson. If, if you followed me, um, going back to last fall, um, I really liked, you know, and, and it's all out there. Okay. Everything I do. You can Google it. It's on the blog. It's on the podcast. It's on YouTube. So I've been talking about this, all, you know, these, what I call non-China 5G plays. So Eric was one of them. And Eric just keeps grinding higher. And then Nokia was another one. So swing trades, kind of boring. I mean, listen, I think this gap up on Nokia is probably about ideal here. But if it's above VWAP into the afternoon, I think you got a nice low risk swing trade. So, um, nice gap, but probably best case considering 5 billion float. Okay. You guys see that? 5.6 5. billion shares in the float. So, 17% gap up pretty. I mean, now, hey, listen, it's 2021. Anything can happen. But that's probably about a best case scenario. But like this as a low risk 
swing into the afternoon. Um, a perfect circle says PSTI has news. <laughs> Yuck. Um, look for better charts. So I'm glad PSTI has news. That chart's a freaking mess. We got better charts out there, okay? There's better charts out there. IDEX. Yeah. LTNC. Illiquid OTC, that's not a breakout. Um, where's my, I gotta I got reconnect with my chakras. Where's my crystals? Where's, where's my, patchouli, my patchouli oil? UXIM. There's a liquid NASDAQ. CJ900? It, it wasn't. It wasn't my crystals. It wasn't my chakras. It wasn't the patchouli oil. CJ nine hundred. You saved me from losing my whatever by bringing up a liquid Nasdaq that's been running all week. That's at fifty two week highs. My man, CJ nine hundred. So let's look for a high day break risk on VWAP on UXIN. So UXIN. Post 945 hot break. Risk on VWAP. All right, my friends. So again, the ebook is out. It is deeply discounted. I can quit getting yelled at all the time. Again, I'm sure Nicole will drop it in all the chats. But if you're not watching live, okay, maybe you're watching this after the fact, Instagram.com slash T-B-O-H-E-N. It's my link in bio. Um... Get it, enjoy it, have a great day, and as always, check out the Steady Trade team. I'm doing a three-hour webinar tomorrow. So so that here's the thing. I want to make this point. You know, again, the Steady Trade team's the mentorship program that I do every single day. I had to miss webinars this week because of traveling. So what do I do? I do a three-hour webinar, two webinars tomorrow, a three-hour and a market close half hour webinar. Nobody, nobody busts ass like I do. So check out the Steady Trade team. And I will uh, see you next time. And get the book. No excuses. Tired of it.